Hello again, everybody. Jeremy Kane with Brokers Guild. I have Michelle Odo from Leader One Financial here in the Odo Group uh, namesake. Um, today, I just want to talk a little bit about Mile High Champions Program, a program that I started um, to kind of give back to the community. Started out as nurses. There isn't a ton of programs for nurses out there. I wanted to, um, you know, come to them as a thank you for what they do for our community every day on the front lines. I have expanded the program as Mile High Champions to teachers, first responders, any medical professional, and so on. And basically what I do is give 25% of my commission um, back as a rebate to kind of offset some closing costs, which is something that a lot of people don't realize goes on top of your down payment when purchasing a home. Um, and I've contracted with people like Michelle here who um, offer a discount and I'll let her talk a little bit about what they do on the loan side. Uh, for our Mile High Champions. Okay, well, thanks for having me, Jeremy. Um, yeah, we love this program. We feel like um, the people that are out there every day, whether risking their lives or on the front line, um, just anything we can do to help, you know, on our side, um, we're happy to do. Um, typically on the loan side, we'll either pay for their appraisal or if there's not an appraisal needed on some deals we don't need appraisals today, mm -hmm. um, we'll give an equivalent credit to that buyer. Um, also, like for the nurses or any type of medical, um, we have a special, there's like a doctor medical program, and um, some of the things that that program offers is um, a lower down payment, also student loans, we don't have to hit them with as big of a monthly payment on that for qualifying. Um, the, if there's a private mortgage insurance, it's much lower on those programs and um, some just, you know, advantageous in terms of rates. And a lot of times we have a medical professional who's moving in and they want to buy a home before they've even started on the job. And with that program, we're able to use um, a contract for it, as long as they'd be starting within like 60 days of the date of closing. So just a few little extra things that we do um, for those borrowers. And um, I know that, you know, that's your, you have a heart for this and um, we've always found that um, working with these clients, it's just, it, it, we're as happy as they are to, you know, see them kind of benefit from right. this. Absolutely. And there's a lot of programs out there that you kind of hear about. A lot of those programs are older, um, may not pertain to the metro area. Um, my, my commission is my deal. It goes, you know, to everybody. It's a rebate. Basically, it's 25%, which typically closing costs are, you know, three to $5,000 on a mm -hmm. typical Typical deal, 25% um, of my commission usually works between, you know, $2,500 and $4,000, depending on the price of the home. Mm -hmm. um, then you throw in, a, you know, lender credit. I also work with inspectors on the backside mm -hmm. to help, you know, offset those costs as well. So really just about my goal is to get you as a frontline worker, as a Mile High Champion, into a home, you know, for, for that 3% down, 5% down, 20% down and not add the additional three to five thousand dollars on top of it um and there's no no obligation just uh just show me that you're a you're a mile high champion that's kind of what we go for and then um, michelle will take great care of you um, great lender on top of you know helping out with this program just really gets down to business with nurses and things verification of employment is huge and i'll let you talk a little bit about that and your processes as far as that goes yeah and obviously during um you know, we vote, we just up front will get a pay stub uh, W-2 during the process. Um, we, in the past, never had to do an additional verification up until closing. Um, now I think we just want to make sure, you know, with COVID that people are still on the job. Um, the nice thing about these workers is you are on the job um, probably more than normal. Um, so yeah, we're just really basically getting the pay stubs, the W-2, um, verifying prior to closing that you're still on the job and working um, your normal hours. And that's about it. And again, if it's a contract where they're, um, you're taking on a new job, we just get a copy of that contract or employment offer and um, verify that that will be starting within 60 days. Right. And sometimes, you know, over time and things like that, different shift differentials with uh, nurses especially mm -hmm. come into play. And, and that's where we, we get that upfront verification so that we know what's going on mm -hmm. and we can maximize your income mm -hmm. to help you get the best house for you. Right. I mean, I know a lot of nurses, for instance, get paid um, their full time on a 36 hour, but mm -hmm. they have night differential or other different types right. of differential. And so the way that we handle that or approach it is we do get the pay stub, which usually breaks it out. 
Um, we get a couple years worth of W-2s and then we'll get a verification from the employer. Um, we want to give you your base today with that higher hourly, but then average the overtime or the differential so that you get that additional income. So we really go out of our way to stretch that income and um, give you as much as we can of it so that you have more buying power. Um, sometimes just that little bit of um, extra work on our end helps you buy more home, which is what we all want to do is get you into the house that you have your eye on um, versus you feeling like you had to settle for something. Absolutely. Yeah. And that makes sense and, and breaks it down really well because a lot of people run into trouble with that right off the bat. They make this amount, but actually a lot of it's overtime. Mm -hmm. And we just want to get to the point so that we're not working hard to get under contract and then have any surprises. And Michelle's team is very good at, at figuring that out. So um, once again, it's Mile High Champions. Michelle Odo, Leader One Financial. Um, call her anytime. Her information will be on the bottom here. Um, and let's get you into a new home and, and all of your colleagues. Yes, we'd love to help you <laughs> um, get into that new home. Um, with credits from us so give us a call and if you just have questions even just questions like would I qualify or what does that look like or you just want to run numbers um, that's what we're here for we want to help you get the information you need um, not you know push you into doing something but give you that information so you feel comfortable when you are ready so yeah thanks Jeremy thank you thanks, thanks for everything you do yeah appreciate it